Hey guys, my name is Kayla Cake and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you guys what your girl eats in a week because every time I post on Instagram like something that I'm eating or that I cooked, y'all go crazy and y'all be like, I hope you film this, I hope you're showing this in the vlog and blah 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 blah. Y'all, now we have a dedicated video that I can direct you guys to because y'all be going crazy. Oh my God, don't pay attention to my nails. Hopefully y'all ain't see that. But I don't have my nails on right now, so we just, I feel bald headed, but we are not gonna talk about it. So really quick, I'm gonna give you guys a background of why the gluten-free diet is giving me clear skin and I'm losing weight. I got little abs, you know what I'm saying? Maybe like, I don't got no six pack, but I got like one and a half, you know what I'm saying? It ain't all that, but it's coming, trust me. So the reason that I chose a gluten-free diet is because my skin was going crazy, okay? Like, I showed you guys a before and after in the thumbnail, boo. The acne was, was just on me, okay? It was just a part of me at that point. And I got so fed up that I had tried so many different things. Everything on in CVS, like everything, okay? The whole inventory of CVS, I've tried. Everything that be on infomercials, I've tried. I went to dermatologist. One dermatologist literally told me, wash your face with this and drink more water. Sis, all I drink is water and a little tequila occasionally, but that's none of her business. But yeah, all I drink is water. So it's like, how are you telling me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> how are you even a doctor? The other dermatologist, she prescribed me pills and topical treatments and all this stuff. And I'm here to tell you sis, really quick, if you're using doxycycline, boo, as soon as you stop taking those, it's over, your skin is right back. The acne's coming back, sis, like don't. <laughs> I've tried it twice, it's, mm. That's what they don't tell you. So yeah, of course, when you get fed up with everything in life, you revert to YouTube, right? So I went and I searched so many different methods of how people were clearing their skin. Some people took vitamins, I ordered all these vitamins. Honestly, I'm not a good pill taker. I was a good pill taker with doxycycline, but these vitamins, I don't know what it is. I just couldn't remember to take them, so that just wasn't it. And then um, I came across a gluten-free diet, and I saw a girl, she explained it and everything, and it made sense. And it's all about your gut health. You want your gut to be more healthy. So I was like, let me try that out, because if it's going to, one, make my gut more healthy, your gut basically controls everything, your hormones, everything. And I had hormonal acne. So I'm like, that makes sense. Let me try that out. Tried it out for a week and my skin showed a drastic change. I was like, oh my gosh. Then if you guys are subscribed, you know that I tried the celery juice cleanse and I will link it up here for you guys. And honestly, it gave me like this fresh start to the diet. So I already was doing the diet for like a week and I my skin showed crazy change, like already just no gluten. You guys can Google it. I'll leave some articles down below maybe if I can find any good ones. But um, yeah. I did the celery juice cleanse about a week into my diet just to give me a fresh start and cleanse everything out of my body. So now all I'm putting in is healthy things and no gluten. And that gave me like the best freaking start ever. And I think honestly I am gluten intolerant because I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I have cheat days and right after those cheat days, I get a little friend on my face, okay? Um, I went to a cookout not too long ago went berserk okay i'm talking mac and cheese girl everything and i had a lot of friends on my face do the math so yeah it really only made sense and from then on i've just been doing it over and over and over i've been doing so much research i've been grocery shopping spending more time at the grocery store just paying attention to what's in what and if you guys see my vlogs i'm literally always in the grocery store in every single vlog once you educate yourself on a diet then you go to the grocery store spend time in there and every time you go to the grocery store you'll spend less time and less time and less time because you'll know what you're going for if that makes sense so yeah now that my skin is finally clearing up and this diet is actually working for me i just feel more confident i'm losing a little weight okay your girl got a little ebbed i just feel better and i'm not gonna lie and say that I don't break out here and there and I'm not gonna lie and say that I don't cheat here and there. It's some cheat meals in this in this video. I gotta keep it super real with y'all. Um, sometimes your girl just want a little cookie, a little mac and cheese, a little fried chicken. You know, just don't, don't fight me. You know, I'm a human. Sometimes your girl got cravings and sometimes I just gotta satisfy them. Like, I just have to. So, I treat myself sometimes, but yeah. Most of the time I really do stick to this diet. So if you guys wanna know, all my recipes and trust me they don't taste like cardboard in the bottom of people's shoe 
this stuff is actually good okay like this food is actually bomb so yeah if you guys want to know what your girl eats in a week continue to watch don't forget to hit the subscribe button turn on post notifications and follow the girl on instagram for more very food porn instagram stories okay so let's go ahead and get into it all right so for breakfast i'm gonna go ahead and start off with my base breakfast and this is something that i make almost every single day i love eggs spinach avocado so if you see me making eggs in another recipe or another day this is exactly how i make it so i decided to show you guys this first basically just cooking the spinach just a tiny bit and then adding three eggs mixing it up i usually season it with about like salt and pepper maybe some garlic powder if i'm feeling fancy you know what i'm saying but always 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 in all my cooking in general i always watch my salt just because you know i'm not trying to have no high blood pressure okay running family i'm trying to prevent it so i always 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 watch my salt just pay attention to what's in seasonings um and you'll be fine so yeah, scooping out the avocado, I always have about half an avocado almost every day. Not every day, but almost every day. And then I just, you know, eat the eggs and avocado. Boom, I probably might put a little hot sauce, you know, just spice it up a little bit. So for Tuesday, basically doing the same exact thing, making spinach and eggs. But I'm going to make a little avocado toast, okay? We getting fancy. So I'm going to use these Odo's bagels and these are gluten-free. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and just toast those and make me some avocado spread okay so just cutting up half avocado and then i'm gonna mash it into a bowl add a little some some make it nice and tasty and then spread it over the bagel so usually i just mash it up with a fork and then i added some tomatoes um we'll get to that i'm kind of ahead but yeah i added some tomatoes and another tip always try to use what's in your fridge i never let things go to waste i always at least try to implement it in something so yeah, as you can see, I'm using these um, diced tomatoes that I had for another recipe that I had, you know, did a few days ago. And I was like, I don't want these to go to waste. So I just added it into the, um, the avocado and made a nice little avocado spread. It was so good, you guys. Like, so freaking good. The Odo's is good for, like, toast. And then I'll put another brand down below that's really, really good for sandwiches. So for Wednesday, it was a lazy breakfast. I went ahead and cut up some leftover strawberries. And then I just made like an egg taco because, I don't know, I was just trying to be a little bit more fancy. And I went ahead and popped on the screen the brand that I would use. The brand that I did use, honestly, I'm not even going to talk about it because I hated it. Um, I'll put it in the description box, but yeah. So for Thursday, pancake time. So I don't usually like pancakes and let's just talk about it. I can't even eat them to be honest. So I found these um, gluten-free ones and I was like, okay, let me try it out. I haven't had a pancake in a long time. These actually surprised me. So they were really, really good. Just follow the directions on the back of the bag and you'll make the perfect consistency. And then I just put a little syrup on top and boom, pancakes. All right, so Friday is my cheat day and sometimes I like a sweet breakfast sometimes i have a savory breakfast well most of the time i have savory breakfast but sometimes i want a little something sweet so i use these vans gluten-free waffles and another tip the plain kind of this is a lot better for some reason the flavored ones get a little soggy but yeah i just spread some nutella on top and then i go ahead and cut up some bananas and i just add those on top just to add something healthy you know what i mean um i always like to have like fruit or something something healthy with my breakfast and this is also a really, really good on-the-go breakfast, too, as well. All right, so for lunch and dinner, I really only eat twice a day, y'all. And also, I make so much, like, food. Well, so much food in one sitting that I always have leftovers. So if I want to eat it for lunch one day, I'll eat it for lunch one day. If I want to just eat it for dinner another day, boom, we have that. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make some shrimp pasta and i found this recipe on instagram her name is healthy fitness meals i believe i'll leave all the stuff down below but yeah i'm just cooking the shrimp shrimp is super easy to cook probably the easiest thing ever to cook besides eggs and i just season it however i want no specific seasonings like i said just whatever's in front of me whatever tastes good added my chopped up tomatoes and cooked that down for a little bit just until the tomatoes got a little soft and then i made the sauce so i used almond milk and then a little bit of flour 
So I did cheat. I'm not going to lie. I'm not supposed to use flour. I should have used almond flour, but I couldn't find it in the grocery store. So I just used flour and was like, okay, a little bit is not going to kill me. So you basically just stir that up until it gets a little thicker. And then you add your spinach. Cook that down a little bit. And then you start adding everything else. So you add in the pasta that was drained. Start folding everything in. Ooh, it's looking real, real bland right now. But, you know, we're going to spice it up. So I added some mushrooms because they were just left over in the fridge from another recipe. Added my shrimp and tomatoes and boom, okay? It was so good. Even if you're not gluten-free, you need to make this because it was so good, okay? Like, I literally want to make it again right now. So, yeah, if you add your little spice to it, I did make it more spicy with just, like, some seasonings and stuff. You know, I added my little my little twist to it because, you know, when you follow recipes, they be bland, girl. But, yeah, just season it how you want and boom, you're good. So, for Tuesday, I went ahead and this is, like, really a leftover type of meal okay so i went ahead and just made some rice rice is super easy to cook it's literally like two steps <laughs> and then i went ahead and made some chicken as well and then everything else is kind of just like leftover so i was like let me just make a little chipotle bowl at home chipotle okay so put the rice in the bowl added some um corn from a family cookout that <laughs> They didn't invite me to, but you know what? It's fine. <laughs> and I just cut it off the cob and then I put it in the bowl. Added some canned black beans. Added some pico de gallo that I had because I didn't have any more tomatoes, but I had pico de gallo. And it's basically tomatoes, onions, and all that. And that's almost what Chipotle uses as well. So, boom. Added some pico. Cut up my chicken and added the chicken in there. Added an avocado because y'all know I love me an avocado. And then I squeezed some lemon juice on top. Now, I don't know why I did this. I just thought it was a good idea. And it was so tasty. Like, so basically, you have to try it. Like, it was so good. And I was super surprised. And this bowl was so filling. It was just bomb, okay? And you can substitute this stuff for anything. You can use steak. You don't have to use beans. You don't have to use corn. You can put whatever you want. It's basically a rice bowl. So just customize it the way you want, like you would at Chipotle. So for Wednesday, y'all went psycho, okay? Y'all went psycho on me, on my Instagram, when I made this. And I showed you guys, and I was like, it's gluten-free, and it looks so good. So this barbecue chicken pizza, y'all, I marinated this chicken for about an hour. Honestly, like I said, I, I put whatever seasoning is in front of me. So I just filled up the uh, bowl like with the water right on top of the chicken and then I added my seasonings and I just let it marinate for like an hour or so honestly I forgot about it I don't know it was in the fridge so yeah then you go ahead and spread your barbecue sauce you want to spread a good like medium layer you don't want to spread too little because it's just going to burn and then you don't want to spread too much because it's going to be soggy so just a nice medium even layer add your spinach and then add everything else the tomatoes and onions and then you want to just pop it in the um, oven for about like maybe 10 minutes or so. After it comes out the oven, spread the chicken. And the reason I put the chicken after I kind of soften the veggies is because I don't want the chicken to overcook. And so I just pop it back in the oven just a little bit just to get the chicken nice and hot. And then boom, there you go. I did add a little hot sauce. I know y'all see that. But yeah, it was so good. This pizza is so fire. Like I don't think y'all understand. So for Thursday, I'm going to go ahead and cook some salmon i've been so obsessed with quinoa quin quinoa girl what quinoa ever since i went gluten free and broccoli is like one of my favorite vegetables so yeah going ahead and cooking that salmon like i said i always cook a lot so i'm not clearly not gonna eat three pieces of salmon but girl this salmon was so good i seasoned it with girl i don't even know what i seasoned it with but it was so good so about I would say four to five minutes on each side. I'm just going to go ahead and plate. Super easy meal. For the quinoa, you just basically pay attention to the instructions on the back on how to make it. Real easy, y'all. Okay, it's the directions are on the back. I don't have to tell you. And then I just steamed the broccoli, and you got a nice, easy, balanced meal. Like I said, all my meals are pretty much 20 minutes or less. Super easy. And it looks like you did the most, but you really didn't. And that is the goal. And you pretty much have a super balanced meal every single time amazing okay so now for friday yes there's no meal for friday just because i often have leftovers from the week and i'm just lazy and it's friday and i just want to do the bare minimum <laughs> or i'll go out to eat with like friends or something 
So when you go out to eat, just make sure that they either have a gluten-free menu or you're paying attention to the little label. So if you'll notice, when you see like a food item, it'll either say GS beside it, which means gluten sensitive, or GF beside it, which means gluten free. They're the same thing. People just word it differently. Um, some will have like a V for vegan. Some will have VV for vegetarian. You just have to pay attention. And often the little key is at the bottom of the menu. So just pay attention and you'll be just fine. And also if I want to try something new at a new restaurant or something, that'll just be my cheat day. So mostly through the week I will stick to my diet and then Fridays is my time to cheat. Okay. And then back Saturday and Sunday, I will eat leftovers or something like that. Honestly, I really only cook during the week because Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm either not home, I'm out, I'm doing whatever I need to do, and I really only have time for leftovers, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm actively looking for new recipes and all that type of stuff. So if you guys want me to do another um like what i eat in a week just with different recipes or even just like a cook with me if i find a cool recipe let me know if you guys find a cool recipe and you want me to try it out and show you guys how to make it healthy or how to convert it to gluten free let me know just hit me up in the dm sis slide in those dms and just let me know and i'll definitely get that out for you guys so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go me and plantasia gonna go ahead and go she's growing like crazy like this one right here used to be like down here probably like a month ago she is flourishing like look how tall she is oh she cute anyways this ain't about her i will see you guys in my next video make sure you watch some other videos subscribe follow me on instagram as well for all the food porn instagram stories and we out